Welcome to my third, is it my third? No, it's my fourth, wow. The fourth studio vlog. Um, I can't believe we're at the fourth already. I feel like I just started. It is another Saturday and Saturdays are my favorite days. It's, I usually call Saturdays my day of rest because I get to rest for as long as I want and do whatever I want. That's the kind of rule for Saturdays. So I am making this video with the pure want from my heart, the desire from my heart to make the video, if that makes sense. I am gonna import some clips from a couple of days ago, so during the weekdays, to show you what I have been up to with Willow and Lark. I didn't film an intro, so that's why I'm gonna put these clips in after this, even though they're not chronological, because today's Saturday and those were taken on the Wednesday and the Thursday. I, I think it was on a Wednesday, or was it on a Thursday? It was, it was on a Wednesday. I got home from work and I thought to myself, do you know what, I'm gonna do exactly what my heart desires. I'm gonna go home and do whatever I want. And at the time I thought, uh, whatever I wanted was um, going home and watching another episode of 90210. I'm re-watching 90210 by the way and since and the last time I watched this I was like 15 so now I'm watching this and I'm living in the US I get all the references so it's kind of funny to watch this back. So I thought that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna laze about, have some snacks and watch a show. But I got home and I opened, I, I had a shower, I made my bed again and I opened up my iPad and I decided I'm going to not work on a print um, because that feels like work. It's funny how um, this hobby has turned into work. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish painting the shop front or the hotel front that I was going to make. I love like drawing architecture and pretty buildings and stuff like that and I'm really getting into drawing house fronts so that's what I, I went and did and I will put that clip in right here. This right here is my happy place. I've just come from work and I wanted to show you what I like to do usually. I don't always get to do this but um, I've been missing this so much. I do paint stuff and create stuff just for fun, like for me. Um, and this is one of them. So it's a little picture of a hotel in London. One of my favorite cities in the world. I actually lived in London for a short while, um, while I was working for the BBC. And I would walk past streets like this. And now that I'm living in the US, I really miss it. While I'm doing this, I also like to have like a video on or be watching something. So I'm currently watching um, Whitney Port's Reacting to the Hills. I'm on season three, episode 21. <laughs> so she basically, um, I don't know if you've watched this before, but it was a reality show set in Los Angeles and um, Whitney was part of the show and she's kind of doing a reaction to it and it's nice to get the behind the scenes of it because I used to watch this as a teenager and be obsessed with California. I'm just having a chill Wednesday evening after work. The sun is shining, the light is coming through my window and I am just in my perfect happy place. I basically what I did was I got a picture um, it's a Charlotte Street Hotel in London I've got a picture from it on Google and I sort of where's my paintbrushes I got I used the abstract round brush so these are brushes I purchased from what's it called Drifter Studio on Etsy. Uh, they have a whole YouTube channel and stuff like that. I will link them. I use that and then I get the color picker. So I want to do the ground now, the floor. And I feel like I might want to do the floor in a more gray color. And then I'll just whoo, add sort of go over the pavement like this. 
and then I will get my favorite other thing is use the water blended brush and because I created a whole new layer I can scribble over this and it wouldn't matter because I could make it all disappear if I wanted to yeah this is basically what I'm doing I'm not gonna do like a whole tutorial <laughs> I just wanted to show you what I was up to Taz is home from work lift your face up so everyone can see you hello and this is usually our chill time so I'm mm -hmm. gonna stop um, what I'm doing, but I'm also going to go downstairs to the studio because my bubble wrap has arrived and I will show you me packing This is the final version of this. I know it looks messy, but I'm going for the messy look Here's a close look and this will look beautiful When printed out, I can imagine this on a card I can imagine this framed. I am going to show you the finished look because I didn't show you the finished product. It is this. I am so impressed with it. It's supposed to be a very messy watercolour painting. I can't wait to print this, though I'm not sure what, uh, where I'm gonna put it after I print it. I'm not actually selling this, I don't, I kinda do this for fun. I don't know if I should start selling it because I wanna keep to the similar style and not kind of ha be all over the place. The next thing that I've started to do is I have a whole Pinterest board full of house fronts. I am obsessed with American, suburban American homes like I am obsessed with them and I I've, I've put I've, I created a whole print Pinterest board because I'm hoping to turn my future home um, into something that looks like that oh by the way that picture that I painted and I just showed you it's actually the Charlotte Street Hotel in London so maybe I'll do a side by side when I had when I edit this okay so this is my board of house fronts I am obsessed with kind of modern American farmhouse that's the look I'm kind of going for with a porch swing and uh, I just love them and, and everything's kind of white with shades of blue and look at that so the one I have decided to paint is, I have a whole folder called house fronts to paint as well. I just drew this. So what I do is I insert the picture here and I have like side by side and then I start drawing and I'm gonna do like a very messy watercolor paint over this. So I've used the fine liner pen from Drifter Studio on Etsy. I will link that pen and I will link the paint brushes that I use. They have some stunning paint brushes and watercolor paper and they're just perfect for like beginners as well. Then the next day you will see me going down to the studio and it is messy and I had to go pack the orders that I couldn't pack because I ran out of bubble wrap that day, remember? So I was unpacking a lot of things because a lot of orders came through. In the next clip, you will see that it was much later in the day that day and I started packing all the orders that I couldn't pack because I ran out of bubble wrap that day, if you remember from my previous Etsy vlog. And I will insert that here. It is much later in the night and you know how I said I wanted to have a more relaxed evening for a change. I wanted to treat myself to that. Well, that didn't happen. So, and on to make matters worse, the studio is in such a tip and it is always like this when I get a massive delivery. Like, I will run out of stock on picture frames and I will go crazy and order a whole bunch because I know I'm gonna get those weekend orders in. People are gonna be trying to order in the weekend because they're feeling spendy. And then I just panic when I have no inventory. But thankfully, like in the odd occasion where it's happened, where I've run out of stock on a frame size, customers have been really nice about it. And they'll be like, take your time. And I'm like, wow, I, I'm not like that. Like my customers inspire me 
to be a better customer. As you can see, the bubble wrap has arrived. I still have one out in the garage. I need to figure out a situation for like storing the bubble wrap and I need to figure out how I'm going to film myself wrapping it is a tip. I'll show it to you just so you can see what I mean. This is what I look at when I come in. I will explain. So I put these boxes out. I kind of pre-readied the boxes for when, remember when I ran out of bubble wrap the other day? Uh, so I pre-readied them so I could like pack them in. And then I have so many picture frames in these boxes that I need to unwrap. Some will be smashed. I have and my order from Walmart. I ordered this. This has nothing to do with Willow and Lark, but um, you will start getting to know my homeware addiction very soon here. Um, but I bought this cute serving tray and it's so beautiful. They have one with the silver bars as well. So if you have like silver hardware in your kitchen, you might want to go for that. And I just, I kind of want to use it as a breakfast in bed tray or taking food to bed tray, but it's so pretty. I'm going to use it when I'm hosting. I can imagine like a whole platter of food in there and it being the centerpiece. What is this? Sometimes Taz will dump stuff down here and I will not know what that is and then I'll have words with him. It's an organized mess. There's a method to my madness here. Oh, did I tell you about this? No, I didn't tell you about this. Okay. Um, I bought these acrylic sign holders, you know, the ones you see in the shops um, for the event. So I'll have like one with the whole price list. Uh, also, my tubes have arrived. I'm so sorry that they're plastic, but I had no choice. When I say I had no choice, I had no, I, I really mean I had no choice. So this is how I will sell you my prints on the day. I'm going to put a, a sticker on. Okay, let's get these unpacked and see the possible damage. I love FedEx. I love our local FedEx guy, but um, he causes a lot of damage <laughs> to the things he delivers. Do you desire more assistance? Repeat that again. Do you desire Loud, more very loudly. Come down here and say it. <laughs> Loud. <laughs> the camera's on! For all those who didn't hear that, this is Taz's way of offering me help. Yes, I do desire assistance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, if you don't mind being caught on camera in your pajamas. No, I don't mind. All I'm doing is I'm opening these boxes first and I'm gonna check for damage. Just open this up and check that there's no no broken stuff. Check. Actually, you know what? You could get started in wrapping. So here's your bubble wrap. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to individually like I've you know how I've individually wrapped this one? Mm -hmm. I'd like you to individually wrap the other one and then we're gonna wrap them together with this bubble wrap. Look at this, Taz. This is how we're gonna sell them. Okay. Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah. How cute. I already showed it to you, but I'll show it to you again. How cute does that look? Someone is going to enjoy opening this. agenda for today well there isn't an agenda uh, for today but the kind of agenda is 
I received my cutting machine, which is a guillotine, and I am obsessed with it. I can't stop cutting paper. It is stunning, it's beautiful, and I can't wait to show it to you. I obsess over things like that. And I also received my Amazon order of the easels. I'm gonna, for the Etsy, for the Mother's Day pop-up shop that we're gonna hold, I will link if you haven't heard of it, we are running a pop-up shop in Hampton, Virginia on one day before Mother's Day in the US, which is May 8th. It's a Saturday, bring your mom. It's gonna be fun if you're local. I'm not local, I'm actually almost like 200 miles away, but I'm coming because I, I, I feel like it's like a really great opportunity for Willow and Lark and I've always wanted to go to the more kind of could I call it rural rural areas of Virginia so I'll link all the details down below and I now forgot my train of thought what was I saying oh yeah I was getting orders um so um the easels I'm going to use them to pop my frames on and kind of display what I'm selling and then put like price tags and stuff like that so they arrived and I haven't opened them because I'm going to open them with you and do a kind of first impressions also I am struggling to hold on to my British accent. It will stay because obviously I moved here much later, I'm, I'm much older and it won't change. But I don't know if you noticed, but I've adopted the rolling R and I'm, I'm actually consciously putting the T's back in. So that's kind of changed my accent altogether because I don't pronounce T's. I kind of say whatever or whatever, sorry, whatever or forever but I've started to say whatever and the thing I, the, the more, my most used phrase as a teacher is what I would like you to do well the old me would say what I would like you to do but because I'm trying to keep keep away from that rolling R and I don't want it I don't want my accent to change I put the T I've introduced the T and what I would like you to do um, so I don't know if you noticed that in these videos and this is another reason why I'm kind of documenting this I'm documenting this whole part of my life as well and I'm gonna see how things change in my life and I can look back on this and it will be fun so I am gonna take you down to the studio right now and we are gonna cut do some cutting and I'm gonna show you what we got and that is it for today I think that's made the main agenda I don't know if anything else will come up it is looking a lot more tidier. The floor is clear. I have some Amazon orders. I have some orders also going out to you guys. I have so many more frames that have just come in. And yes, it's all very organized. Bubble wrap is here and everything is looking great. So what I'm gonna do is, excuse that, that's my mom on video call and yeah. <laughs> She's waiting for me to talk to her. So this is the paper cutter I was talking about. So beautiful. I am obsessed. So it goes, it should be on this side. And then we cut this way. And I kept the box. I kept the box so I can, sh um, in case you wanted to know what it was called, it's Dale. I'm, I think it's a European brand because it's got all the European kind of measurements and the numbers. And I got this from Amazon and it is about time because I have been struggling with cutting my prints and I have over like hundreds down here to cut ready for um, the pop-up shop. And I just, oh, I can't wait to cut using this. And I'm gonna undo these and I'm gonna start putting like price sheets in there as well. Maybe I probably won't get to it today. So that is the plan. It's a pretty boring plan, so I don't know how much of this I'm gonna film and whether I'm just gonna say goodbye to you and come back to you when I have something to show you. I have something to show you. I have a lot of things. I actually have something else to show you. Let me get that out. How did I forget this? So, I have a business account with Amazon now, which is so excited because being a registered business have, has benefits like this. Um, so now I get like discounts when I buy things in bulk. Because I buy a lot of things in bulk. These are the easels. So I'm just going to open them up um, and show you what I plan to do with it. And how I plan to display the prints with this. I have them up here and I'm just going to open them up. 
and show you what I what it would look like on the stand. I'm so excited about these. They are also individually wrapped. So I can't remember how many I ordered. Oh, it's 12. Wow. I definitely don't need 12. <laughs> they will sit like this on the table and I will have like a frame on there. So one of these will be displayed on there and as well, along with the prices and everything else. Like I have like a hot like 50 copies of these to sell and that will be like under the table or something so if someone wants to buy this and they want to buy it framed they can see what it looks like and oh this is so pretty this definitely makes this room look more like a studio now um and then i'll have this on there oh i am so clumsy clumsiness is actually a thing like some people are just clumsy and that is me. I have smashed many a frames on my clumsiness. So let's see if it look it would it would like hold a bigger frame. So let's see how an 11 by 17 does. Okay, it holds bigger frames. And 12 by 18. This is 12 by 18. Okay, all right, and then my biggest frame size is a 16 by 20, but I'm gonna have a kind of a floor standing easel for that one. So, oh, I am so excited. I'm so glad that I am preparing for this so well in advance because I would be a stress head if I was doing this last minute. I need to figure out how many I need, whether I actually need 12 or 12 would even fit. Um, on the desk. I'm also going to display things flat as well so like I'm going to have a mix of the two. These are so pretty and rusty. I love them. They're so cute. I am going to now start to cut the prints into shape so that if people want to buy them framed they will fit in my frames. So with my prints I do print them at the exact size but for some reason my printers do them a little bit larger and if you buy them and your frames a little bit bigger like by two millimeters it wouldn't make a difference um, because it, you know, the, the print would be covering covered by the, the bezels the side or the frames whatever you call the side of the frames so that is what I'm gonna do and I maybe may do a time lapse of me cutting and you can enjoy watching that. I have taken the cardboard backing out of all the sizes that the frame sizes that I will print in the prints, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I have a this is gonna make the camera go all funny, so I'll show the back. Um an 8.5 by 11, which is standard US letter size. And then I have a 12 by 18 and an 11 by 17. So the way I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark on the paper and then I'm just going to cut. I think that's what I'm going to do. I hope that works. They're just a millimeter difference, but because I'm such a perfectionist, I, I just need them to be beautiful and perfect and... Yeah, so this is the difference, as you can see, and I am going to cut. I am just going through and sorting everything so that I'm looking at the same print so I can hopefully print two or three at a time.
the other sizes are all cut up and done i'm so relieved and it's just the final push it is these 12 by 18s i haven't bought a lot of 12 by 18s with me because i feel like most people will want to buy the smaller cuter prints so i have an inhale and exhale that is um one is at the top and one is at the bottom kind of alternating and then i have an inhale and an exhale centered which is very popular very 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 popular actually i also have ooh, these are so beautiful they are perfect for a simple bedroom and i just love these words be still my soul how am i, am I showing this properly how serene does that look and it, it just looks really cute in a room that you don't want too many loud words and i'm like that i don't want too many loud words i also have a bigger be still my soul and it's kind of alternating top to bottom if you're into that sort of thing uh let me see if i'm showing you that properly there we go i'm basically bringing everything that has ever been popular and has ever been on a bestseller list. You know how I said I'm obsessed with my guillotine and I love to cut and I can't wait to cut and I'm gonna have lots of fun cutting? <laughs> This has taken the fun right out of it. It has been a long day in the studio cutting all of these that I haven't even got to the big sizes yet. So instead of attempting to do everything all at once, I'm gonna, in the next few days, cut as I go along. I have nothing else to show you today, so that was my Saturday doing all this. I am gonna take all this makeup off, I'm gonna get my hair cut, today and what am I what else am I gonna do I'm gonna have a nice hot shower and read a book and then see what else I want to do today because Saturday is the day where I get to do whatever it is I want I will see you in my next one